Hello everyone, Panda here, and it's around this time that I started setting up my YouTube channel, and it's almost Halloween, so I said, what the heck, let's take a look at a game based on one of the greatest movies of my time, The Nightmare Before Christmas. There's merchandise made to this day, which is a true test to this movie's success, and it's the perfect movie for either Halloween or Christmas, but you probably already knew that. This is the Game Boy game, and although there's a few more out there, my toaster can't play PlayStation 2 games, let alone record them, so I'll just focus on this one. Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas, Pumpkin King. Right on the title screen, I noticed that the Halloween Town theme is a little messed up. Compared to the Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories that's also on Game Boy, it's hard to miss. Well, anyways, the plot is that it's Halloween, and Jack is waiting for the moment where he does his thing, and Noogie Boogie hears of his success and his Pumpkin King title, which rustles his jimmies quite a bit. So he gets Shock, Lock, and Barrel to kidnap Jack and bring him over. But instead, they kidnap Sally. What a surprise. Oogie gets pissed and sends a horde of bugs to take over Halloween Town. So you get to play as Jack Skellington himself, jumping around, blasting bugs. It's simple but effective. And the controls are okay, except for when you're trying to make some really fast movements and can't shoot the stupid tapeworm! <sighs> Anyways, uh, also, it's kind of hard to make this one jump at the beginning unless you're moving and then you jump. The jumping, moving jump goes higher and it took me a few minutes to figure this one out. Then there's also this, it just, it doesn't look right. But at least you can shoot up and crouch and shoot, but you can't crawl or anything. I mean, I know Jack is tall, but in the movie he can easily get under this little hole here. I mean, just look at how flexible he is, jeez. Anyways, the game plays out like Metroid, going around, collecting power-ups and unlocking other parts of the town to purge of Oogie's buck things, and every time you beat a boss, this happens. Anyway, that was the Game Boy version, maybe I'll review some of the others when I actually get good at this and can actually record them. If I were you, I'd stick to Kingdom Hearts, but it's not a bad game. In conclusion, Happy Halloween! Have a good time, don't overdo with the candy, and yay me for being around here for almost a year. Thanks for watching.